Welcome to NetFit.TV Pilates. We're here to motivate and dedicate you to living a healthy and vibrant lifestyle. My name is Megan and I'll be leading today's workout. But before we begin, I want to give you a little tip. Reward yourself when you reach a goal you've set and immediately set another goal. Do not wait. Now when you reach your goal, reward yourself with something that brings you pleasure. This doesn't have to be food. It can be something like a new bottle of perfume or cologne that reminds you that you reached your goal. So let's get started. Are you guys ready? Yes. All right. I want you to grab a little set of weights. I'm going to use threes, whatever you're comfortable with. We're going to come to the center of our mat. We're going to bring our arms up as high as our shoulders. And then all we're going to do is twist all the way to our right. Keep those arms out. Look all the way to your right. I want your left hand in front of you. And then switch it back to your center. Nice and slow here. So your feet are planted. Switch to your left. Right hand in front. Back to your center. So the, fo the focus here is just twisting in your waist. Make sure that your feet are not moving at all. It's all in the upper body. And then back. Abs are tight, twist, look to your right, back to your center, twist, look to your left. Now this looks easy, but these weights are going to start to feel real heavy soon. Perfect. So his weights are just as high as his shoulders, good. It's all right here. You feel it right here, Carl? Look all the way to your right. His feet are planted, they're not moving, back to your center. Any heaviness yet? <laughs> Let's just do a few more here. All the way to the right. I encourage you to do this until you can't do it anymore. So if we stop too soon, you can sure keep going. Here we go. Now back to your center. Stay here for me. Now just pull those weights up. Little tiny pulses up. You can do it. Up, up. Just give me 10, 9, 8, 7. Don't let them fall. 4, 3, 2, one, and roll those shoulders back. Awesome job, rolling forward. All right, our arms are awake. Let's do some more, let's challenge them. So bring your elbows in to your ribs for me. So we're a little bit bent, now pull them out. So we're a little bent here, uh, palms are facing up towards the ceiling. All we're gonna do is little tiny circles, just like we're tracing a golf ball. Keep your chest open, heads up. And don't forget to breathe. I like to hold my breath for some reason on this one. Now if the weights are too heavy, you can certainly do this without weights. It's hard both ways. How you doing, Carl? How you doing? Let's just do 10 seconds here. Take a deep breath. All right, we're gonna go backwards, little tiny circles backwards. Now try to keep those up. Don't let them fall. 10 more seconds. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Open up your chest. Four, three, two. Now we're gonna go forwards, but big circles forward. This time we're tracing a basketball. Up, up. Give me 10, nine, eight, seven. Make them big. Five, four, three, Two, we're gonna reverse. Here we go, backwards. Squeeze those shoulder blades. It's looking good. How are you guys feeling at home? Because we're burning here. We have eight more. Seven, six, five. Make them bigger. Last three. Squeeze and one. Good job, you guys. I want you to keep one weight. We're gonna come down to the mat. If you're feeling ambitious, you can keep both weights. I think I'm gonna do both weights. All right, let's bring the weights over our heads. We're gonna be flat on our back. Extend them out. We're gonna do roll-ups with our weights. So this is what it's gonna look like. I'll show you real quick. Arms come up, head follows. Sit up as tall as you can. Reach to those toes. And then slowly roll it back down one vertebrae at a time. Arms come back over. Are you guys ready? Here we go, up. The weights just add a little resistance. You don't have to do with the weights if you don't want to. This is an awesome abdominal exercise. It's classic Pilates with a twist. We love it. Make sure you're sitting back up really tall before you roll it back down. Keep it going. 
Let's see here, he's sitting up really tall. He's reaching, he's very flexible. He can go past those toes. He sits back up really tall before he rolls it down one vertebrae at a time. Arms come back over, perfect, good job. How you doing, Amber? Oh, Amber's got her weight too, look at you go. All right, let's do it, roll it up. She sits up tall, reach past her toes, sit back up really tall, and one vertebrae at a time, we're gonna roll it down. Good job. Let's do three more complete. Don't forget to breathe. Last two, focus on that form. Sit up tall, stretch it out, back up and roll it down. Let's make this last one our best yet. Here we go, up and reach. Roll it down and release. Good job, you can hold on to that weight if you'd like. We're gonna do little teasers with the weight. So I want you to bend both knees, feet are flat on the floor, arms are gonna come up, head follows just like we were before. Sit up, bring the right leg out, reach, and then roll it back down. We're gonna do both sides, so let's start with the right leg. Here we go, arms come up, head follows, reach it up, and roll it down. Left side, now up. How's it feel? Can you feel the difference with the weights? It's a little bit harder with the weights. We like to add a little twist. Let's do two more on each side. Reach it up, sit up really tall. Carl's adding a little bit of a twist here to make it a little harder. One more time on each side. Now if you're comfortable, you can really challenge yourself and bring up both legs and hold. Just four seconds, three, two, one, and release. Put that weight aside. Good job, you guys. Looked awesome. Now grab that little red ball. We're gonna bring it in between our thighs. Back is flat on the floor. Hands are on the floor for support. So Amber doesn't have a ball, that's okay. You can do this without a ball. We're gonna bridge our hips up towards the ceiling, really high. Make sure that ball is right up Tight in between those sides, we're gonna start to squeeze that ball really hard. Good inner thigh work here. Try to pop it. Pretend like you're trying to pop it as hard as you can, like it's a balloon. I promise it won't pop. You can do anything you want to this ball. Almost there. Give me eight hard squeezes. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now I want you to bring your heels together. Focus on bringing those heels together, toes apart. We're gonna do the same thing. Here we go, squeeze. Squeeze, keep those hips high. Squeeze your glutes up, squeeze. Eight more. Seven, do you guys feel the difference there? I feel it. It's a little bit harder with those heels together. Three, two, one, we're gonna add a lift. Squeeze and then lift those hips up. Squeeze and lift. Let's do 10, up, nine. Squeeze a little bit harder. Seven, six, relax the shoulders. They want to tense up, don't let them. Four, three, two, and on one, hold the top, just pulse it at the top. Lift those hips really high, higher, 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 almost there. Four, three, two, one, and one vertebrae at a time. Just bring it right back down, release. Good job, now move that ball to your knees. Whew. I'm burning. You guys burning at home? Here we go. Let's bring up those hips. Really high. Same exact thing, but we're just going to squeeze the knees together this time. So working a little bit of a different muscle here. Squeeze. Squeeze. Ten as hard as you can. Pop that ball. Eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Now one, keep a really tight grip on this ball. If you're okay here, I want you to bring up your right leg. Point your toe. Hold it there. And release. Now bring up that left leg if you can. Hold it there. And release. Right leg again. Try not to let those hips drop. Keep them nice and high and level. Release. And left. 
and release. Now bring your heels in a little bit towards your bottom. I want you to come up onto your toes if you can. Come up onto those toes. All we're gonna do is lower our heels down and push it up. Lower and push. Just give me 10 more of these. We're almost done. Keep that bridge high, don't let those hips fall. Almost there. Five more. Four. Three. Two. One, and release it down. Oh, that felt good. All right, let's put that ball aside. We're gonna do a little move I call the pretzel. So I want you to come into a butterfly position, stretch it out for a second. Let's just open up the chest, give it a little break. You can lower your chest down to the floor for an extra stretch, whatever you want. And then bring it right back up. Sit up really tall, open up your chest. I want you to pull the right leg behind you. Pull it as far as it'll let you go. So you're gonna feel it right here in this right glute. We're gonna pull up the knee up off the floor. So we're hovering our leg above the ground. We're leaning into our left side here. Now if you want, if you want to make it a little bit easier, you can lean a little bit more, but try to stay standing up or sitting up. Here we go, we're gonna pull the knee up towards the ceiling, pulse it up, give me eight more, Seven, six, five, four. You guys feeling it? Two, one, hold it at the top. Now extend that leg out if you can and pull it behind you. Just give me four more of these. Up, three, two, one, and back to your butterfly. Whew, that burns, I love that one. Now pull the left leg, gotta even it out. Lean into the right, bring up the left leg. Cover it above. You guys ready to pulse it up towards the ceiling? Bring that knee up. Up, last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hold. Let's extend it and pull. You're pulling that leg all the way behind you, squeezing that glute. We have six more, five, four, three, two, and one, back to your butterfly, good job. Sit back up really tall. Now we're gonna stretch this butterfly out so there's a diamond shape right here in between our legs. I'm gonna lean back a little bit. Hands come behind you. We're gonna pull those legs up. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna leave these legs hovering but we're gonna pull the feet up towards the ceiling. So this is a little bit lower abdominals. You guys ready? Here we go, let's do 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two. Now hold it high, bring your knees together, extend the right leg and pull that right leg only up right. If you want to, you can hold on to this left knee. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knees together, left leg, here we go. Bring it up, up. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, come back into your butterfly. Sit back up. Good work today, you guys. Extend those legs out straight. I want you to reach to your toes. Let's give it a little stretch. Head comes down to knees. Take a deep breath. Sit back up. And we're finished. Thank you, guys. How do you feel? Good. Now remember, what is your reward for reaching your SMART goal? I encourage you to write it on a little post-it and put it on your fridge to remind yourself. Until next time, reach your personal best.